The keyboard is dead. Long live the keyboard. Now, if you've seen any of my videos before, you know that I actually had a run-in with stenography. I was using a stenography board for a while, trying to learn to chord type like a court stenographer would do. And I had a very fun experience with that, but my primary motivation was to gain uh, some superpower in terms of writing as fast as possible, transferring my thoughts to a computer. And it was very challenging, I have to say. I also learned that the keyboard that we use is just very, very hard to replace. And I've actually spent a little bit of time trying to replace it, which is sort of what this thing here is. This is a handheld mouse, but it also has a bunch of buttons on the back. And I have a couple of custom programmed shortcuts on here that help make my day-to-day -day life easier. So I can actually sit back and use my computer just like this without having to touch my keyboard. But there's another really big part to this, and that is a microphone. This is a DJI microphone, and it's one of the more expensive ones because the audio quality sounds great. I also have some really cheap ones that are one to two dollars each, probably. They come in a pack, and they're nine dollars total. But I have this microphone as one of my primary methods of input to my computer now, and all of that has changed in the past couple of years because of AI. There's an AI model called Whisper. Whisper is a model that was trained by OpenAI, and they released it for free. They said, hey, we think this is going to be a benefit for society, maybe unlike some of the other AI models, and anyone now is able to run it and use it in any way that they want. Now, look, it is not the most precise thing in the world, but the ability to just speak into a microphone and immediately have all of my voice transcribed into formatted text is a superpower. I cannot understate, uh, I cannot overstate exactly how powerful it is. Um, I am able to use this in conjunction with AI models and I can process any text that I've said. So if I'm imagining a format in my head, I can build a prompt that helps customize what I've said into that format. So for example, in my day-to-day -day work, when I'm building a user story or a description of a thing that needs built inside of a software product, I could run through the list of instructions. Let's say it's a sign-in page. You need to sign into an application, and I say there needs to be an email field, there needs to be a password field, we need to add validation on the password, we need to make sure that uh, there is a remember me checkbox and a login button. There also needs to be a section at the bottom that says create an account. Okay, that's fine. That's natural language. I don't think I would want to pass that along to someone to work on. I would want it formatted in a list, but that is the perfect place for AI to step in. So not only have I used AI to transcribe that text, but then I use it to format it into a method that is more familiar for someone reading it. This is great, this is incredible. I would have had to spend all of this time formatting it myself, and I would have had to be sitting in front of a keyboard. Now, the unfortunate downside is that the keyboard is still so powerful. I have modifier keys, my shift key, my function key, my control, option, and command key. I can click any one of those or a combination of them and in exchange get a whole different set of keys that I can click to do different things. So I have, uh, I should run the numbers, and I will run the numbers, I'll show them here on the screen. Uh, I have this many different possible combinations using a traditional keyboard. And any one of those could run a very large command. So a keyboard is a very powerful tool, and I think it's going to be very hard to replace it in the near future. I have uh, a set of instructions that I am able to pull up in a visual interface, but a visual interface doesn't really solve for the use cases where I'm just focusing on work. Sure, I can build a custom command for any one thing, but open-ended commands tend to be a little bit easier to build around, um, or an open-ended interface, like a keyboard, that I can then run through any of the programs that I use. I'll dive into the combinations around what I'm doing here in another video. I'm actually using this to completely step away from my computer, and using a pair of augmented reality glasses, I have successfully made a backpack computer that I can just walk around with, no screen in front of me because it's a pair of glasses. Uh, that is a very interesting superpower, and I can completely replace the keyboard. I still have to have a virtual compete keyboard open, and that is unfortunate. 
because it is so hard to replace all of these keys with any one small thing. The user experience designer in me also wants to replace it with something that would be better and easier to use. And in the keyboard world, there are so many different variations of keyboards to customize to any one person. There are ortholinear keyboards or staggered ones. There are ones that break apart in two different components. Uh, there are gloves that you can put on and type with your fingers. It's all very interesting, but it still, I, I think, ends up being worse than the primary method that I have attached to my screen in front of me. And that is the thing that I would like to replace over time. I would like to find a simple solution that requires fewer inputs from me and still can get out that information. I want a tool that would be able to connect to my phone, or maybe it's part of my phone, something that I can open-endedly input into and then get out the thing that I wanted without having to do every single little key press. I don't think uh, autocorrect or predictive text is really the solution here. Those models tend to be very small, so they're not really predicting my mind, they're just predicting the next word in a sentence, and I find that that doesn't really convey the thought that I'm looking for. As a matter of fact, when I'm using my phone, I have predictive text disabled. I hide that little prediction bar because it's very distracting to me. I know what I'm thinking. I don't want something to tell me what I'm thinking. Even if it might get it right, most of the time I just see a lot of flickering and I'd really want to focus on what I'm doing. I also think that it ends up limiting my voice and the type of words that I would like to say. When I'm using a voice transcription model, it is more accurately representative of the way that I talk. And I, I really enjoy that because it means I'm not getting some sort of auto-generated response as a part of my conversation. It's my real words that people are reading. In an upcoming video, I will show off the portable computer with the trackpad and the glasses, the microphone, the whole setup. But for now, I think it's worth considering what the future would look like without keyboards. We already have an iPad, we have tablets and phones, we have a virtual keyboard that appears. Is this really the best that we can do? I think there is an intermediary step between then and now uh, where we could have something that is not just a brain-computer interface streaming words into a computer, um, but maybe there is a tool now that we could use, some sort of replacement to a keyboard that ends up helping us communicate better, faster, and easier than ever before. If you've made it to the end of the video, I want to thank you for your time. I appreciate you. Uh, you know, this is something that I'm really passionate about, and I think there are so many different topics that aren't really being covered in like the general conversation. People are really focused on keyboards, but they're not focused on removing them, maybe? Uh, or at least not the trendy YouTube videos. So hey, that's what I'm here for. Uh, there are a lot of other conversations that I think we can be having soon. Uh, again, I am building a startup, so I'm actively involved in the tech industry. Most of my time is spent doing that. This is like a very small percentage of my time. Uh, with that said, if you do appreciate this type of content, follow along for more. I will be making more of this for the foreseeable future. I have a recent video here, if you didn't see that, called I'm done making content. I'm really just not trying to post content online. I'm trying to make something that, honestly, I would be like rambling my friend's ear off uh, if I was talking on the phone. And uh, now I'm actually just going to talk to you as well. I, I, I still talk to my friends about this, but uh, this is the type of thing that kind of keeps me up at night. You know, I'm tossing and turning thinking about keyboards because, well, you know, I guess that's just how it is. With that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.